Eagle proud symbol of our country Keep on flying high up above And together we will stand And we'll restore the land Oh Eagle Keep on flying Eagle Welcome in It's Listen to the Eagle You're live Call in radio show Hunting, fishing, God, family and country In anything Paul Lott wants to talk about. I'm Burdock Carruth, your host, live in the Reeds Metal Studio right here at the beautiful Farm Bureau building in Jackson, Mississippi. Alongside Paul Lott down in the beautiful Scenic Rivers region on Lake Dixie Springs. What's going on, Paul Lott? Yeah, you better watch out. You better not pout, Bert. You've been a good boy. I have, Paul Lott, because Santa Claus is coming to town. He's coming to town, and he's going to be here pretty quick, Bert, so you ain't got many days left, you know. I do know. What all you bought me, Paul Lott? Well, let's see. I can't count the gifts. There's so many. You coming over to get them? I sure am. Paul Lott, as always, we've got our good friends from N- MDOT in studio. Our guest tonight is John Gilligan. And, uh, John, I think you're manager over the traffic management system or center, uh, we want to share with all of our listeners, it's the holiday season. MDOT does so much to try to keep our roadways safety and our traffic. But I can't, I cannot help it. I'm sorry. Gilligan. Yeah. I just, it, it takes me back to one of my all-time favorite movies, <laughs> Coming to America, where uh, Arsenio Hall was, ah, oh, I love the Lord. And if loving the Lord is wrong, I don't want to be right. He helped <laughs> David beat Goliath. He helped uh, Daniel get out the lion's den. He helped Gilligan get off the island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, John no. Gilligan. Now, now yeah. you follow that I can't. with MDOT. I can't. <laughs> <clears throat> tell, yeah. us, tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and, and what MDOT would like to get across the state uh, so close to this holiday travel season. Because sure. it's all this week. Everybody's moving yeah. and shaking now. Absolutely. First of all, thanks for having me. Yes, um, yeah, just kind of share with your listeners some of the things that are out there to help them. Uh, it's all about keeping people safer and getting getting them to their destinations faster with minimal delay. Yes, sir. So one of the things that we do is we try to bring technology to bear in the transportation world. Um, relatively new somewhere in the last 20 years or so. Um, a lot of departments of transportation are making wide use of technology to inform the motorists. If everybody out there is informed about what's taking place on the roadways, it makes it safer for all of us. Absolutely. So if we're traveling around out there and we know what's going on in real time, we we know what's in our intended path, we can, that by its very nature, it improves our safety, but we also may um, take the opportunity to take another route to avoid the delay. So one of the things that we do is we have a traffic management center. It, it operates 24-7 here in the Jackson area, um, downtown MDOT. And we have a room where we have traffic management center operators monitoring traffic cameras 24 hours a day and pushing that information out to the traveling public to keep them informed. Wow. We, we I also, did not know that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yeah, that's amazing. So it is. it's 24 hours. It's manned. It's operational 24 right hours now. a day. Every day. That's awesome. They're out there. There's We're roughly about 750 traffic cameras across the state right now and many more devices. There's radar detection, Bluetooth detection, things that inform us or give us clues as to what's going on out there on the roadway, particularly if it's in an area that we can't visibly see with one of those cameras. Sure. So we want to keep the public informed about what's going on out there in real time, um, make it safer for all of us, everybody get to their destinations as quickly as possible. The, another program we're working on, the Federal Highway Administration is pushing out, is a national program to train responders how to respond to a traffic incident. It kind of seems almost intuitive, and most people would think that it's something that all the responders train on all the time, but it's not the case. Really? And so when police fire and everybody arrives to a traffic incident scene. Yeah. Oh, it shuts it down. It does. It does. Or um, one of the things we want to train them on is giving guidance to motorists as they approach that incident scene. To Quit make looking. It, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> not, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It, that, that makes it unsafe for all of us in and of itself. No doubt. Yeah. We see it all the time. We have what we have called a secondary accident. So if somebody's rubbernecking, they're not paying attention to what they're doing, and they can cause a second crash. Absolutely. Or, or worse. Yeah. So a couple of things we're doing um, specifically to enhance safety and mobility, get get folks to their destinations as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. Yeah. 
Man, that that's so awesome. Again, you educated me, and I'm sure some some people out there listening across the state tonight. I didn't know that there was a center that yeah. was 24 hours it's trying pretty, to help us as travelers. Pretty, today, it's pretty common throughout the country. I, I think just about every state has at least one traffic management center, if not multiple. I should know this. I don't. I do know. Can you share with our listeners the app that they can go to for some Absolutely. of that real time information? Absolutely, good, good point. There's a couple of resources that we make available to the traveling public so they can stay informed of what's going on out there. The first one is our website, m.traffic.com, which has a um, an app, a phone app out there in conjunction with it, and that app is called M. Traffic. Okay. There is a rebuild underway that's going to add a, a bunch of nice features to that app and it's going to basically give you push notifications when you come in close yes. proximity to an incident yes. it's going to automatically inform you you don't have to sign up for anything you don't have to choose anything it's just going to automatically inform you today when you go to the website we're pretty proud of our preference setting levels so you can go there and customize what you the information that you want to receive to a pretty good degree to get it right down to specifically to what you want and only what you want so there's the website m.traffic.com there's the app m.traffic we have a what's called a 511 system where you can literally dial 511 and get traffic reports of your choosing um, we use highway advisory radios in emergency situations, things like hurricane evacuations, that type of thing. Right. And it's all about pushing that information out there and getting the motorists informed. Well, John, first I want to thank you for coming, taking time to be a part of Listen to the Eagle to help our listeners educate us tonight. And I also want to thank you and the whole MDOT organization for everything that you do for our state and thank try you. to keep us safe. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate you having me. John, get it. Yeah, from M dot. Hey, thanks so much for being a part yeah, of it. Thank pa- you. Really Paul Ott. Yeah, man. M dot. They got it going on. They have a whole center that is twenty four seven to try to help you and I and all of our listeners and viewers uh, navigate a little more safely. I want to share this something. And John, I know we we don't have much time, and I should have brought it up earlier, but we did have your last counterpart on last month. We talked about going into Thanksgiving and and now the holiday season. Texting and driving. Yes. It is it is difficult not to do, but the reports show in all the studies that it's worse than alcohol. It's worse than drinking and driving. Your delayed response. In the minute you're sitting there and you say to yourself during this holiday season, think about this. Well, I've been doing it for years and it's not going to happen to me. All it takes is once in your whole holiday and the tragedy and everything that it brings. Just Lay it down. 30 minutes, an hour later, that text will still be there. Absolutely. That email will still be there. That phone call will still be there. If you think it's that important, get off the road to read it. Absolutely. Again, thank you for everything. Y'all don't go anywhere. We got more. You want to be a part of the show. Paul, we got a great show tonight. We got Ted Malta's going to come on and talk about the Mallard Restaurant Bar and Grill opening back up down there at Dixie Springs. Legendary restaurant for many years. Going to relive some history with Ted and also talk about the future. It's so awesome. That's coming up. We got McCray Smith, member of the University of Alabama Million Dollar Marching Band. Y'all don't go anywhere. We've got more of Listen to the Eagle. Legendary entertainer Paul Ott brings you his greatest hits. Get them all in this special CD DVD combo set, including Old Blue. Many and a many of an early morning. I am Mississippi. I am everything good you have ever dreamed about. The right, arm of right Arm of America and many more. To order, visit listentotheeagle.com or send $20 check or money order to Paul Ott's Greatest Hits, Box 219, Summit, Mississippi, 39666. Welcome back in, Listen to the Eagle. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Burdock Carruth coming to you live from the Reeds Metal Studio right here in Jackson, Mississippi at the beautiful Farm Bureau building. Paul Ott by phone in the Scenic Rivers region on beautiful Lake Dixie Springs. I want to go straight to Ted Malta, my cousin, who is uh, bringing history back. Ted, welcome to Listen to the Eagle. Thank you, Bert. Hi there, Uncle Paul. It's a family show tonight. Yeah, we're having a good one. All, all we like it is Ain't Luke, Ted. <laughs> I'm sure she's listening. Hey, 
Hey, tell Aunt Lou, we, we, we don't have a censor on here. I'm afraid she can't come on, her or John, right? Well, Aunt Lou doesn't have a censor at all, so we would be in good shape. Mm-hmm. Ted, we, I'm so excited. I know the whole state of Mississippi, a lot of people for many, many years have, have experienced the one-time Dixie Springs Cafe, then, then a part of history. It was called the Mallard. Then it was Dixie Springs Cafe again. And now here you go, uh, bringing back the family tradition as the Mallard. What, what I would like to do, we've got about, if you don't mind, I'd like to keep you over a couple of segments. But I'd like to talk about the history first. Kind of in our family, yours and, and my grandfather's, we uh, they were brothers. And, and if you don't mind, share the, the history and how it all started. And then I'd like to keep you over a segment and then talk about the future of what you're bringing back. Well, sure. I'm happy to do that. You know, it actually started with our great-grandfather in 1939. Uh, That's when the Dixie Springs uh, Cafe was originally opened. And uh, that's Jim Carruth, Uncle Paul's dad. And um, and then it later went to our grandfathers, uh, yours, Bubba, and mine, Lester, and they ran it together. Um, Eventually, your grandfather, Bubba, went across the street and built the motel. Um, And later on, Aunt Anne, um, Uncle Paul's sister, ran the uh, restaurant. Right. Um, there was a fire um, probably 30 years ago or so, the first fire, and she reopened it across the street in the motel location, and I believe that's when the nickname for the bar, the Mallard, caught on. I believe that's uh, correct. Yep. I, I think, yeah, because the bar was called the Rafters across the street originally, and it was quite popular in the old location, you know, right here on the lake. And um, so uh, it's been out of the family for about 25 years um, it burned down exactly two years ago on December 20th. So um, we're going to be opening pretty much two years, you know, right at two years from the time it burned down again. I had actually been trying to purchase it there for a while when I first got back to Mississippi. Even before it burned. Even before it burned, yeah. yeah and had had looked at doing a location in downtown Summit, and I was looking to do a venue somewhere. And um, after the fire, I got together with uh, Joe and Christine Kimmel, the owners at the time, and we came to terms on a on a deal there. And I started reconstruction and putting an idea together to bring it back. We've got Ted Malta, owner, and, and bringing back the Mallard right there in Dixie Springs, Mississippi. I know many of you across the state have so many memories of, of coming to the Dixie Springs Cafe and the Mallard and and stories, but always remember the food. So y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with Ted. And if you want to call in 1-800-251-5891, that's 1-800-251-5891. We'll be right back. All Ots The Day of the Lord CD DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, and They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits and the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. Get yours by calling 1-800-684-9486 or by letter to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Box 219, Summit, Mississippi, 39666. Welcome back in. Listen to the Eagle. You're live. Call in radio show. Hunting, fishing, God, country, and family. And tonight, we're talking about family. Got cousin Ted Malta on the phone alongside Paul Ott, both of them down in the beautiful Scenic Rivers region on Lake Dixie Springs. I'm Burdock Carruth. I'm your host. I'm coming to you live from the Reeds Metal Studio. Want to go back to the phone line? Got Ted Malta, owner of the Mallard Ted. First, I want to talk about the amenities, what you have done. You know, we talked about two years ago, Dixie Springs Cafe burned to the ground. So many people across this great state of Mississippi were devastated because of the atmosphere and and, and everything about it. I mean, the food's always second to none. Everybody knows about the food, but it really was just a cool place to be. Please share with us what you've done and how it's even going to be better now. Well, Bert, you, you've said it. You know, it was always about the experience. I mean, sure, the food was great, the liquor was great, the you know, the fun was great, the events were fun, you know. But it was always about the total experience. Yes. And and my idea about putting it back together is to to do the same thing. I knew that it was such a special place, you know, with the old motel that had been added on to the the patio and retaining wall that had been enclosed to create yes. the lounge in the back. All these special things. There was no way to 
pop, put up some new construction and, and, and have it capture that sense of history and of, you know, family and of being there. Right. So I, I had the idea and I found this old church that was, came from Bogachita that was built in 1879. It had been um, decommissioned and uh, had been vacant for about 18 years. Wow. The stained glass had been sold out of it. It was starting to rot. And uh, I purchased this church. Um, it's about almost 1,600 square feet and moved it down the highway to the old restaurant site and uh, put it in place with not much of a plan except that that was going to be my cornerstone and I was going to start from that. <laughs> well, uh, it really, <laughs> it's been an experience to say the <laughs> least. Um, but uh, suffice it to say, we've ended up with just uh, right at 6,000 total square feet. We have new construction um, surrounding it. And the idea with the uh, construction was to make it tie in and seem like it's always been here, you know. And um, I think we've accomplished it. It's a beautiful, very special place. The The, the church is going to be used as an event space yes. um, for weddings and, you know, parties and special events. Um, we have a separate new dining room, um, separate lounge, new kitchen space. We have uh, guest lodging, three cabins, um, one on the water, two on the courtyard, and um, for overnight guests. Um, the, um, the courtyard is a really neat outside area with a fountain and, you know, center courtyard and covered customer drop-off. It, it's going to be very special. So you and I ran into each other a couple of weekends ago. You shared with me about the uh, overnight stay. And, man, I went on the website. Those rooms, they're awesome. I mean, off yeah, the chart. Really I mean, that is going to be a killer. <laughs> the rooms are quite special. They've got big exposed beams, stained glass that I got from Aunt, from Aunt Anne, um, uh, big walk-in tile showers and wet bars in the rooms. They have their private courtyard for – uh, you can host your own event there. You know, we can we can cater to a private event with the rooms in your courtyard if you wanted to do something there. So it's really set up in a way that it has several usable spaces um, so that we could really put ourselves out there a little bit more as a venue yeah. uh, versus, you know, any one thing. Um, you know, something can be going on in the church. Something can be going on in the lounge. Something can be going on. In right. the courtyard. You so know, so just, say like next year, if you were having a couple of Christmas parties, it wouldn't shut down me and my family for coming up there to do dinner. Not unless you wanted it to, and that was how big your party was. Wow, that's mm -hmm. so awesome. <laughs> You know, any, anything's an option. We've actually got six events on the books already. Um, we we had about 12 more that we weren't able to fulfill just for not getting open in time. You know how right. construction can be. Right. But well, real got, quick, let me let yeah. me kind of frame this, and I want to kind of go to the menu. We're we're running out of time, and I know you're busy and you got to go. But mm. so we've always said the people that know Lake Dixie Springs in that area have always said it's a little slice of heaven on earth. I mean, unless unless you've been a part of it, unless you kind of grew up on the lake, unless you were down there from that area in that scenic rivers region, you just words can't explain Lake Dixie Springs. Well, they don't call it beautiful Lake Dixie Springs for nothing. Uh, absolutely. And and then now here you are and have brought this unbelievable restaurant and facility and, and a place to have your event. And now you're also allowing people to to kind of have a cabin, uh, unbelievable room to stay overnight and just have the whole experience. I want to thank you personally for my memories and, and growing up on that lake and growing up in those Dixie Springs Cafe, restaurants in the Mallard. I want to thank you for taking this on, Ted, and doing what you're doing. Well, thank you. I'm honored to do so. It's a family affair. Yep. Real quick, got about two minutes. Tell us about the menu. Tell us what we can expect from a food side. Well, we're bringing back a lot of a lot of the fa the favorites that were here. Um, we've got um, we worked with some um, uh, guest chefs from the uh, Mississippi um, Culinary School at the University of Women to help yeah. us. And um, I, I've got a guest chef that comes in from Austin, Texas, who I've known for about 30 years, who's helped a lot. Sweet. And we're going to have, we're going to be cutting our own ribeyes. Ribeyes. And, and Thank bringing back you the, got that. Bringing back the Dixie Springs ribeye. Yeah. We've got, we're starting with a filet, uh, soft shell crab. We've got small plates and share plates and appetizers. Mm. Um, a, a wine room for red wine specials. Oh. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of everything. So you're gonna be able to come in there and kind of you can you can get your your house, uh, Pinot, but I can also upscale and and do a little fine wine. 
That's exactly exactly the way it's going to be. You know, with any luck, and we're, we're actually, you know, we, we just finished our construction. We've got licensing and some licensing in place, waiting yeah. on some others, waiting on inventory, things like that. We're really right here on the cusp of opening, so it's a very exciting and stressful time. Yeah. You know, we hope to be announcing in the next three days, a, you know, a specific date. It won't be, it won't be long now. What is the estimated date of opening right now? I'd say well, on our voicemail, which, by the way, our phone number is uh, 601-276-7575. And you can also get information from us directly by email at rsvp at Um But right now we're, we're accepting reservations starting the first week in January. Sweet. Ted and opening, the opening that we opened before then. Man, I am so excited for mm-hmm. you. I'm so excited for the state of Mississippi. I'm so excited for the Lake Dixie Springs and the Scenic Rivers region area. I just thank you for doing this, and thank you for being on Listen to the Eagle. Thank you, cousin. I've enjoyed it. Love you, buddy. See you. You too. Everybody, right. Dixie Springs Cafe, the Mallard is back. Y'all don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of Listen to the Eagle. All Ots, the Day of the Lord CD DVD combo set is our free gift to you and your family. The Day of the Lord includes songs like I Am That I Am, Don't Cry For Me, and They Could Not Stop His Love, as well as special sermons by Tom Lester, Dr. Larry LeBlanc, and others. Paul's special holy visits and the printed Don't Cry For Me poster are also included. Get yours by calling 1-800-684-9486 or by letter to New Day of the Lord Ministries Foundation, Box 219, Summit, Mississippi, 39666. Welcome back in to the last segment of Listen to the Eagle. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. Burdock Carruth coming to you live from the Reeds Metal Studio alongside Paul Ott, beautiful Lake Dixie Springs in the Scenic Rivers region. Paul Ott, I want to bring in our next guest, Mr. McCray Smith, who is a member of the University of Alabama Million Dollar Marching Band. Yes, sir. Welcome to Listen to the Eagle. Thank you for having me. I'm very glad to be here. You know, McCray, Bro. Paul Ott and I, we, over the last couple of weeks, you know, we get to talk about anything we want to on the radio show, and we've been talking about the Final Four in the football season. Yes, sir. And, of course, Alabama's made it in. Yes, sir. You have been a part of the Million Dollar Band for the last four years? Four years. Yes, sir. This is my fourth year. Um, looking forward to being in New Orleans in a couple of weeks. You have been a part of the last four playoff. That's right. All, all four playoffs. You've been at so all of them. I've, I've had the you know great opportunity. Uh, to be at all four, so it's just it's really fun, and uh, I enjoy every minute. So unlike most people out there, you have been on the field for the That's last right. four national cha- or playoffs, playoffs, and then of course the the past two national championships. I was yeah. able to march at in uh, Tampa, and then before at Phoenix. So real quick, we all talk about we understand the demands and the discipline of of football. We we talk about it. It's up front. It's a million That's dollar right. industry. So we talk about it. The band. I, did I hear you earlier? Y'all are 400 members strong. We are. I think this year we have about 406 people uh, practice every day during the week, during classes, you know, with tests and projects and group assignments. We still have practice. About, Pretty demanding. About it, it, It's about an hour and a half a day. Yeah. So uh, a lot of time, but um, a lot of rewards as well. So if there's a, a young person out there that's in the high school band and, and they're pretty good and they would like to do that, kind of share with them the process because I know you kind of went through this. Yeah. How do you get to be a part of a band at the university you're going to? Sure. So, you know, most universities, I can't speak for all of them, but at, at Alabama, you know, you go to the website, they have it listed out for you. Normally, you know, prepare a few pieces, you know, get a few scales together and then you'll sign up for your audition. Uh, go in, perform your audition, and then they'll normally decide like the season before, like it'll be May. Right. If you're going into the fall of like 18, like this coming May, you'll find out the results, uh, whether you made it or not. Can you get some financial aid? You can. Being a part you of the can. band? Yes. Uh, depending on your audition and, you know, the quality of your performance, yeah. they will uh, reward some students with some uh, some financial assistance. That's awesome. Trombone? Yes, sir. Trombone and the Million Dollar Band. So... How, what is something, if, if our listeners that, that are listening tonight and go, hey, we're going to watch the Sugar Bowl sure. in Alabama, and we're going to watch the halftime, what what can make you stand out? How do we know it's you? Well, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know many things now. about halftime. Wear something. Uh, <laughs> do something a little different. Well, we kind of all, you know, we're in a band, so we got to wear a uniform and, a, you know, the same hat and everything. So I don't have any special tricks or anything, but uh, just watch us and look out for us, and maybe you'll catch me on the TV. Well... <laughs> Thank you for being a part of Listen to the Eagle. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank uh, you. 
For those of you that don't know, I work alongside and for McRae's dad, Mr. Jeff Smith at OEC Construction. You know, I don't do this much, but I'm going to do a selfless plug since McRae's here. You want to build anything. We specialize. We're a general contractor. I cover the whole state of Mississippi. You want to build a restaurant, a building, a C-store, you just call me or call the show, 1-800-251-5891. Paula, if you don't remember anything else about this show, remember this. If you do things your way, you will get your results, some good, some bad. If you'll stop and pray, you'll get his results. Yeah, roll tide. Roll, <laughs> roll tide. <laughs> roll tide. <laughs> roll tide. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see y'all next week. Merry Christmas. Be sure Christmas Day is Monday. Listen to the Eagle will be on the best of. Paul Lott's getting honored at the Mississippi Entertainment Hall of Fame. They're doing a bust. We'll see you next week.